was a ripe banana duct taped to the wall truly worth $120,000. Hello world, my name is Akshay Gupta and I'm founder and CEO of Art Proven. Art Proven is a blockchain and artificial intelligence startup that is protecting, monetizing, and tracking artists' intellectual property rights. Here we are in beautiful North Vancouver, and today we really want to understand how do we truly know the value of an artwork? As we understand, every artist creates a masterpiece. Then why is it some artwork sells for thousands of dollars and the other art pieces sells for millions of dollars? Let me draw your attention back to December 2019. And if you remember, there was an art show in Miami where a duct tape banana was sold for $120,000 by the famous Italian artist Maurizio Cattigliano. Now, is it really true or is there something more in the art world that really decides the value of the art piece? A lot of people ask that cliche question that why that art was sold for $120,000. The value of the artwork lies in the eyes of the beholder. My team and I here at Art Proven and Entrepreneur TV took this task to really understand what are the really some key factors that decides the value of the artwork? And we stumbled upon four main reasons that really decides the value of the art. Number one, economics. You see, it's a pure logic of demand and supply. And if you remember from one of our previous videos, Salvatore Mundi, a masterpiece created by Leonardo da Vinci, was sold for $450 million. You see, a lot of art collectors want to collect art pieces that are rare. So it's all demand and supply. Leonardo da Vinci is not alive anymore, and his artwork is limited in supply, and there's more demand. So the value of the art piece is going up. The second reason we stumbled upon is authenticity and provenance of the artwork. You see, if an artwork has a certificate of authenticity, that shows it's a legitimate piece of art. And also, artwork is also valuable if that artwork has been presented or exhibited at different galleries around the world and has been passed on by famous art collector. Third reason is the background of the artist and where they have exhibited their work. You see a lot of art buyers wants to truly connect with the artist's background and their story. And their artworks also becomes valuable if they have exhibited their artwork at multiple places around the world. And the fourth and the last reason is, it depends on the size of the art piece as well as the medium that has been used on the artwork. But did we really uncover, like, how do we know the value of the art piece? What makes it valuable? So my team and I here at Entrepreneur TV and Art Proven, we are doing a social experiment. Our chief strategy officer, Neil Haran, bought an art piece. and. We will ask people in Vancouver, when trying to gauge the interest of the public and get their feedback on how much do they think this art piece is worth. So without any further ado, let me bring our Chief Strategy Officer, Neil Haran, and uh, understand his perspective, why he bought that art piece, and how do people really perceive the art value. Welcome back. So we are here in North Vancouver, and we really want to understand how people perceive art value. So we have with us Art Proven's Chief Strategy Officer, Neil Haran, who bought this art piece. Neil, welcome to Entrepreneur TV. Thank you. So Neil, can you tell us like what prompted you to buy this art piece? Yeah, so um, I, I saw this art piece in a basement, in a dingy basement collecting dust. And uh, yeah, it looked really amazing. And uh, the colors, just a lot of questions popped up, like where was this painted? Who painted it? What they were feeling while they painted this, this piece? And uh, yeah, so it, it spoke to me and I, I bought it. Interesting, and, and uh, for our viewers, um we are also uncovering like how do we really decide the value of the art piece. So Neil, what do you think about the social experiment we are doing in, here in Vancouver, just trying to understand how do people perceive art value? 
beats me. I have no idea. To, to me, this is a beautiful art piece. And uh, as far as how an art piece is valued, I, I have my theories. Uh, it could be worth $1,000. It could be worth $10,000. I hope it's worth $50,000 and up. Yeah? I'm very much looking forward to finding out what the answer is. I would right. love to find out what actually makes this art piece valuable. Right. And if it is, in fact, uh, you know, something that is decided upon by the few in the industry. Right, and uh, it will be very interesting social experiment for us here at uh, Entrepreneur TV just to go around and understand people's perception about the art piece. Did we really stumble upon a $1,000 art piece, a $10,000 art piece, or did we stumble upon a rare treasure? Stay tuned for our next video where Neil and I uncover the mystery behind this art piece. As we embark on this mission to investigate what is the history about this art piece, where did it come from, and what is the story, and how, how do people perceive the art value? Well, thank you, Neil, for that uh, amazing feedback. Now, my team and I are really excited to start the street interview and really go out and understand how much is it truly worth, and what does it really mean to have a valuable art piece. Stay tuned for our upcoming video. This is Akshay Gupta for Entrepreneur TV. We are art proven. We are creating the new decentralized art community. Stay tuned for our next video.